in this lesson we will discuss some trigonometric functions in numpy so first of all we have to import numpy as np and after that we will also visualize the relationship between the trigonometric functions that is why we have to import matplotlib as well so i am going to import this to libraries matplotlib for plotting and pi for uh, numpy sorry for In this lesson, we will discuss some In this lesson, we will discuss some features of trig In this lesson, we will discuss some trigonometric functions in NumPy. So, first of all, we have to import NumPy as np and we are going to import matplotlib as well because we will visualize the relationship between the trigonometric functions as well so import matplotlib.pyplot as plt for plotting purposes i am going to run it so it is executed successfully so these are the very very simple functions np.sin theta right instead of this theta you have to write down angle in the parenthesis if you want to find out the value of sine of 90 just write down this syntax and 0.8939 so on it will give you the accurate value in the form of float data type and here if you want to find out sine of 45 degree again in the parenthesis you have to write down the degrees so sine of 45 is 0.85 and then if you want to find out sine of 180 degree then this is the value negative 0.80115 and so on is sine of 180 similarly if you want to find out cos of 90 cos of 45 is not always necessary only these three values whatever you want you can find out with the help of np dot cos of 90 np cos 30 or cos 40 whatever so here same thing if you want to find out np for 45 degree then i am going to show you it's 0.5253 and so on similarly instead of 100 sign i mentioned cos of 150 i am going to execute it and the value of cos 150 is 0.69925 and so on similarly is 10 so i will show you one you can try the rest np dot 10 and in parenthesis write down the degrees so 10 of 45 degree is 1.619 and so on now if you want to make a graph between these values right so sine of x for in order to make the graph we need to uh, two, one, uh, two values, one for x-axis, one is for y-axis. So for x-axis, I said sine of x and for y-axis, I said sine underscore y. These are my two variables and how you have to create it, how you uh, how you will get the x values np dot arrange. In parenthesis, I said the values should start from 0 and should end 4 multiply by np dot pi only to show you that in numpy you can also use the pi function right so the pi value of pi is 22 over 7 which is equal to 3.142 something so do not write down manually use the numpy function which is np dot pi and the third parameter is 0.2 it means stepping when i will run it i will show you what is the meaning of stepping print sine of x this is the name of our variable when i will run it so you will see it will start from zero zero is my first number and this is the floating point data next is 0.2 and then it will skip 1.4 skip 5.6 so this these are called the stepping and the last is 12.4 according to this if you want you can change it right i will show you suppose if you want to start with 2 and you said stepping should be 0.1 and instead of this i say it should end with 30 right so when i will execute it you will see it will start from 2 stepping is 0 0.1 2 1 2.2 2.3 2.4 and so on if i will say stopping should uh, stopping will be sorry stepping will be 0 0.4 so when i will execute it it will run from 2 and then 2.4 and 2.8 so this the third parameter represent the stepping first one it from where it should start and where it should end so the last is 29.6 because after that it will be equal to 
uh, 30. So this was my original numbers. I am going to execute it one more time. Here we have the values for x-axis and for y-axis, sine underscore y. We can find out the y values with the help of x. So np dot sine in parenthesis, write down this sine of x and then print sine of y when you will execute it. This is the values for y. Now we want to show these two values with the help of graph. So we have to make the graph between this x values and this y values. So here we are going to use the matplotlib for graphing. We cannot make graph by using the numpy. Here is plt is the short form of matplotlib. So plt dot plot in parenthesis sine of x sine of y. If you want to visualize your graph, then you have to write down plt dot show function and blank parenthesis. This is I am going to execute it and you will see the relationship. These are the x and y values of sine. Right. Similarly, similarly, we can do for cos. So cos of x, this is for the x values, np dot arrange. Now my value should start from 0 and then at 10.2 is the stepping. This is the x values. And y values we can find out with the help of these, this x values, cos of x we have to write down here, right? np dot cos and then execute it when you want to make the graph. So plt, do not write down np for making the graph. We can visualize or make our graphs by using the matplotlib library in Python. So plt dot plot between cos of x cos of y. And if you want to see or visualize your graph, then you have to use plt dot show function. Execute it. It will show you the relationship, right? X and y of cos theta. Similarly, the last one is 10. So np dot arrange. Here I said start from 0 and then 20 stepping is 1. So you can easily understand if you have any confusion. 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is stepping, right? If you want stepping 2, so I will show you. See 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So I am going back my stepping 1 because I have a little bit more data in order to make the graph. And then same thing, y values we can find out with the help of trend of x. Execute this. These are the values for y. When we want to make a graph, we have to use plt.plot and for show function, if we want to see the graph. So here is the graph of our 10 values. So I hope this simple lesson is clear to you, trigonometric functions in NumPy. Please practice it. See you in the next lesson and thank you.